This is Jean Rubo from the Photoshop team at Adobe. In this video, I will show you how to work with multiple subpaths on a single shape layer. In Photoshop CS6, you can work with multiple shape paths or subpaths on a single shape layer. You could also do this with CS5 shape layers, but there are some new controls in CS6 and the previous controls have been relocated. These three icons in the options bar are for working with subpaths. From left to right, they are path operations, path alignment, and path ordering. In this video, I'll cover path operations. The path operations menu items work differently depending on whether or not there are any selected subpaths. By selected, I mean that the anchor points of the path are currently visible. I can select a subpath by clicking on it with the path selection tool, also called the black arrow tool. Clicking outside of the shape will deselect the path. So when there are no subpaths currently selected, the option I choose from the path operations menu will apply to any new paths I draw. By default, this is set to new layer when working with the vector creation tools, which means that a new shape layer will be created every time I draw on the image. See, I have two shape layers now. If I want to add another subpath to the current layer, I can choose one of these four options here. Here I want to add to the shape area, so I'm going to select the Combine Shapes option. Now when I draw, you see that this subpath is added to the currently selected layer. To subtract from the shape area, I would choose Subtract Front Shape, and then start drawing. You can see that the cursor changes depending on which option you choose to indicate what will happen when you draw the shape. These options can also be accessed with keyboard shortcuts, just like in CS5 and earlier. Holding down Shift will add to the shape, Option or Alt will subtract from the shape area, and Shift Option or Shift Alt will intersect with the shape area. The Path Operations menu can also be used to change a subpath after it's already drawn. First, you'll need to select one or more subpaths. So let me draw another one first. Let's add here. So I'm using Shift Click with the Path Selection tool to select these two subpaths. Now, choosing an option from the Path Operations menu will change the path operation for those selected subpaths. If you want to merge the subpaths into a single path, and what I did here was I selected all of the subpaths using uh, the path selection tool as a marquee, I can choose merge shape components from the menu, and now I have a single path on the layer. Notice they are not individually editable anymore. That's how to work with the Path Operations menu in Photoshop CS6.